Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Hannah. If you're new, welcome. This is Kat's Corner. I've been in culinary school for a year now. I'm double majoring in culinary arts and baking and pastry arts at Wake Tech in Raleigh. As most might guess, a lot of people graduating from high school now are not choosing to go to culinary school. A lot of times culinary school is a later in life decision where people work their nine to five businessy jobs for years and realize that they've totally lost their passion for it and want to go back to something that they've really, really enjoyed and that's cooking. I wanted to be a chef since I was three years old. I've talked about that several times on my channel. Last fall, I was chosen as one of the US food scholars. It is the most amazing opportunity ever. I will leave that vlog linked up here of when I found out that I actually got this scholarship. I got an email back saying I got the scholarship. So, um, I'm a US food scholar. <gasps> what? Yeah. It's crazy and the biggest blessing ever. So ever since starting culinary school, I have gotten so many questions about life in culinary school, about life as a chef, about how we do things, what my daily life is. So I decided to finally sit down and film a video answering my most frequently asked questions about culinary school. So I asked for you guys to send me questions on Instagram. And if you don't follow me on Instagram, seriously, go follow me. I'm at hannahcat2001. That's where I post everything first so you don't want to miss it. I got a decent amount of questions. I don't have time to answer all of these because you know that I like to talk, but I'll answer a few of the most asked ones. The first question, is it stressful? Yes. <laughs> Honestly, life as a chef is completely revolved around stress. I feel like most people who are chefs and who want to be chefs really have to be a thrill seeker. Um, it's such a fast paced job. You have to be constantly ready to move around all the time and it's so stressful. Culinary school is specifically stressful because people are always over your shoulder, testing things, tasting things, writing things down, grading you, quizzing you on everything. They wanna make sure that you're working at your fastest pace. So a lot of times you have a time limit for things and it's, it's crazy. I do enjoy it, but some days I'm like, why am I doing this to myself? Okay, next question. Do you think someone with less experience could be good at culinary and baking? I'm assuming she's talking about culinary school. I've seen it both ways. I've seen someone with a ton of experience come into culinary school and not do very well. A lot of times, someone with a lot of head knowledge about culinary will come in and think they know everything and are not teachable at all. So when they learn that they're doing something wrong and an instructor tries to correct them, they fight it and basically it's just a disaster. But I've also seen where someone very, very inexperienced, someone in my baking class had never baked cookies before, not even the frozen cookies, not even the ones in the roll that you can get in the refrigerator section at Walmart, nothing. But this person ended up doing pretty well. Obviously the head knowledge was a bit off. It depends on the person and if they're teachable versus if they think they know everything. I definitely think that it helps to be pretty experienced when you come into culinary school. You need to know quite a bit. One comment that I hear is, oh my goodness, I would absolutely love to go to culinary school. I love to cook. That's something that for me, yes, I enjoy culinary school, but I've been cooking my entire life. And you know, it's not something that I would encourage someone who has just stuck their feet in cooking, let's say for three, four years. I wouldn't encourage them to come to culinary school. Culinary school is very serious about making this your job. I don't agree with making cooking my life and my everything because it's not. That's the biggest flaw that I find in culinary school is that they just force it to be your life, your job, your everything. And that's not, that's not my life. That's why I don't wanna work in a restaurant in the back of the house cooking. Um, that's why I wanna be more on the bakery side, the, the coffee shop kind of thing. It's less hours a week and you have a life. Definitely someone who has a passion and less experience could do well in culinary school, but I don't suggest everybody who enjoys cooking to come to culinary school to expand their knowledge. That's not really what culinary school is for. If someone wants to expand their knowledge and not necessarily make it their career or want to work in a restaurant one day, I would definitely start with continuing education courses. A lot of times colleges and culinary schools will have classes about bread making or whatever that'll help expand your knowledge so where you don't have to completely enroll in a college degree. Okay, what is the most unexpected part about culinary school? Definitely the long hours. I still thought that our classes would be a bit longer than the normal conventional classes, but I didn't know that it was gonna be this long. This past semester, I had a nine hour class. That's a lot. What makes it hard is for most people who go to normal college, usually have their classes in the morning, 
early afternoon. They come home or back to their dorm or apartment or whatever and they do their homework that afternoon. For me, I'm still in class. Another thing is I have to come early before class starts and stay late because we have to have prep. We have to scale our ingredients before class starts. We have to make sure that everything is clean. That's an unexpected thing for sure. The long hours, it is hard. It's really hard, especially if you take a full load because you end up spending all day at class and then you come home and either you have to go to work or you come home and you have so much homework to do and when everyone else is done with their homework because they did it that afternoon while you were in class you come home you eat supper you take a shower because you're hot and sweaty from the kitchen and then you have homework to do and then you go to bed and then you repeat it what has been the hardest dish you've had to make I don't know if there's specifically a hard dish that I've had to make. The thing that I struggle with the most is time management to make sure that everything is still hot when it needs to be served at the specific time. One of my classes, we're given a specific amount of time to make a full dish. We're given different grains that we can use. We can only use each of them once. We'll have a special vegetable of the day that we can only use, and then we'll have our protein, which is already given to us. We have all these things to do, different components, different preparations, different sauces, seasonings, textures, flavors, all of this stuff plating all of it I think that's the hardest thing is making sure that everything is consistently seasoned everything is perfectly hot the perfect temperature um, that the plate is hot um, and all of it coming together to make the perfect dish to when it needs to be served you always have a time cut off that stuff needs to be served at and if it's not you get a zero but on one of my practicals I completely burned my main dish and um, there's almost no saving. Thankfully my instructor helped me out a little bit and we were able to fix some of it. One thing that culinary school has taught me is that you can fix over seasoned, you can fix under seasoned, you can fix too thick, you can fix too thin, but you cannot fix burnt. What was the scariest part of starting culinary school for you? I think just having somebody over my shoulder all the time, really. I, I don't know. It was just something that really scared me. I was nervous about being in a class with a bunch of people that I didn't know. I was afraid they were going to have a lot more experience than me and that I was going to be behind and that my instructors wouldn't be patient enough. But after the first week, all of that really went away. For the most part, my classmates were super nice. My instructors were very patient. Obviously, that depends on where you go to school. I think starting the scariest thing was just the unknown of how assignments were gonna work, how things were gonna work, um, how grading was gonna work, all that kind of stuff. It ended up working really well. So this next question is based off of me now doing online culinary school because of the whole corona thing. Did you have to go out and get lots of new gadgets slash pans for all your assignments? With Corona putting all of our school online, it was really, really hard for us to transition onto online for the culinary department because all of our classes are hands-on and it was just a big struggle. I didn't have to buy any gadgets because I had a lot of it from what I used at school. So for culinary school, I have to have my own knives. I have a lot of my own equipment like piping tips, ring molds, cookie cutters, um, zesters but because i baked for my whole life and i've cooked a lot at home i pretty much had everything else but i did have to buy ingredients and my school didn't pay for that for some of my classes i actually had to bake and cook things still so all of those ingredients i had to pay for it was a part of my assignments i had to do it my school didn't pay for it, it ended up being okay because obviously i still need to eat so i was cooking anyway but I definitely did spend a little more extra than I usually would have. So I also think this next question is geared towards my online culinary school. How did your teachers grade it? Did they base it off of final picture, record the process? Basically one of my instructors just graded off of efforts. We would send in photos, we would send a report of how we made our product, what we did well, what we didn't do well, things we would have changed, what our family thought about it. Um, and so that was basically how they graded. Basically, we were the ones who graded ourselves. We evaluated what we made, what we could have done different, what we did good, um, and we sent in our pictures, and that was how they graded. For a lot of my assignments, though, for online, I did have to write a lot of papers. So I wrote a five-page paper about sauces. I had to write a paper about cheeses. I had to write a paper about ham. I did have to do a lot of at-home labs. So I made crepes, frozen souffles. I made creme brulee, flan, a bunch of other things. Uh, another question, tell us the hard parts. Basically, the hardest part for me is just having the energy for every single day. It's so hard. It is hard. 
Um, culinary school, I've definitely been close to quitting a few times just because it's hard and it's something that I've loved and I've wanted to do my whole life, but it's hard, especially with taking a full load. I'm just constantly exhausted all the time and I don't feel like coming home from baking and working in the kitchen all day to doing more homework about what I just did. And it's also been so hard mentally as a Christian being in a kitchen because there are there's so much language in a the kitchen. There's a lot of drugs and alcohol in kitchens and it's just, it's too much. It really is. That's been hard to tune out. That's another thing that's been a struggle. I'm a two on the Enneagram guys and I hate when people yell at me. And being in the kitchen, you get yelled at a lot. So, you know, I think I'm gonna film a part two to this video, but the last question that I wanna answer is how do I know if God wants me to study culinary school? Oh man, uh, that is such a hard question. I honestly struggle with that a lot. I still do sometimes. I know now this is where God wants me because he's opened every single door, but I just prayed about it for years and years and years. Every single time God would open a door towards culinary school, I would just take a step. So he opened the opportunity for me to start at a different school and I started and the door seemed to keep opening and I decided to go to a different school and doors kept opening. He provided the money through a scholarship. He provided a lot of other things. And after a while of just praying and asking God what he wanted me to do and getting in the word, I just really knew this is where God wanted me. It's something that sometimes is hard to be reassured of that this is where you need to be. I've just noticed a little reminders from God that like this is where you need to be and even on the hardest days where I feel like quitting and I'm like why am I here like I don't even want this anymore he just reminds me that he's brought me so far and that this is exactly where he wants me and it's something that I used to make so complicated I'm like okay I need some miraculous sign of Hannah you need to go to culinary school it needs to be this one it needs to be at this time I want you to graduate on this date I want it to be this degree but it's not that hard God just wants us to be obedient and willing and so when he opened a door I walk through it. If he closed it, I would turn around. I would ask him, okay, where next? He would show me and it's just kind of a daily process of God, where do you want me to be? And it's starting with being in his will first and then praying, okay, God, is this in your will? If it's not, show me something different. If something I want is not in your will, help me to be okay with not having it. Yeah, those are a few questions that I wanted to answer. I definitely want to do a part two. I have a bunch of more questions that I want to answer. I will see you guys in my next video. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. If you have any more questions, let me know down below. And also, while you're down below, hit the subscribe button and ding the bell so you don't miss any more videos like this. I also have a ton of vlogs of culinary school. I will leave them linked up here so you can check them out on my college vlogs. Thank you for watching. Thank you for your love and support. And I will see you guys next time for another video. Bye!